Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we explore the lovely Cotswold village of Colne St. Denis, which is about three miles from the more famous village of Bybury. It's in the Colne Valley as the River Colne slowly meanders through the village, en route from the Cotswolds to the mighty Thames. Colne St. Denis has a lovely church, St. James the Great, and a very, very lovely manor house built in the 17th century. And we'll see these shortly. The oldest building, we've just seen here on the right, is Colne St. Denis House, a handsome, early 17th century, honey-coloured, traditional stone house, complete with swimming pool and immaculate design gardens. It was for sale a few years ago for three and a half million pounds, and I'm sure it's now worth considering more. Here's the church, we'll go and see that in a second. It's a small village with only a couple of lanes to it, so let's go and explore this idyllic place together. Well, straight away on the left here is the 17th century manor house. I can't quite see the uh, gardens here, but it's uh, an absolutely stunning property and typical of many Cotswold villages. It's summer here in England and the roses are growing around the doors. This makes it absolutely perfect, doesn't it? What a stunning place. Now, this is actually my favourite cottage in Colne St. Denis. I mean, it's just tucked on its own in this little narrow lane and it's just absolutely picture postcard. Some beautiful gardens and it's, yeah, got, look at that, absolutely stunning property. Um, just a little peaceful, quiet place. What must it be like to sort of live here and have this on your doorstep? Absolutely wonderful. So we're just coming up to the River Colne itself. And here it is, a very slow, pretty river that flows throughout the Cotswolds, goes through Bybury and obviously um, the villages of Abington, Colne St. Denis. Absolutely lovely, isn't it? And it's just um, surrounded by meadows on either side. And a bit later, we'll see a really lovely view across the meadow to the church, which is really pretty. But yeah, absolutely enchanting scene, isn't it? I love it. And 
And here's the other side of the bridge. Now this part of the River Colne actually flows through someone's garden. I think it might be the manor house because it's got immaculate lawns to the right here. But fancy having that flowing through your garden. Absolutely idyllic. So this is the edge of the village and just across here you can see the church in the distance. I hope the camera's picking it up. There's a lovely water meadow before it and then the church there in the background. Absolutely beautiful pastoral, typical English countryside image, isn't it? And then if you um, head down this lane, you come across uh, a really lovely house. I think it's actually empty because all the windows are shuttered up. It doesn't, there's no sign of life. So I didn't mind uh, poking my camera around here because here you go, here's the church again across the, from the, to the river. And uh, yeah, just coming up now is this house, which is large again, um, but all shut up. Quite sad to see that it appears that no one's living there anymore, but nonetheless, beautiful and uh, yeah it would make a very lovely family home for some people that's for sure look at that absolutely beautiful So this is the church of St. James the Great, which is Norman, and was first dedicated to St. Catherine in the 13th century, and then to St. Dennis in the 18th century. There was probably a Saxon church here or close by, but no architectural records exist to confirm this. Now, one of the most interesting features of the church is the squat central tower as it was relatively rare for the Normans to build churches with central towers, certainly there are very few in the Cotswolds. In the case of Con St. Denis, the tower has remained almost unaltered, with the exception of a castellated belfry. The weight of the belfry later caused part of the east end to collapse.
Now, this is another of my favourite properties. Um, look at that. It's just absolutely charming, isn't it? Set on its own, the little wall garden and those fields that you look out to. Yep, it's absolutely classic Cotswolds, isn't it perfect? So we're coming back to what I'd call the middle of the village with this little bit of green and that lovely um, old house of Colm St. Dennis House. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of yet another Cotswold hidden gem, another one in the Colm Valley. If you've enjoyed this, perhaps check out my video on Ablington and some of the other videos in the surrounding area. But look at this house again. This is the one I said was the oldest in the village. That's it for today. Please like, share, and most importantly, please, please subscribe. It really does help the channel. I'll be back for another video soon in the Cotswolds. Until then, thanks very much for watching. All the best. Bye bye.